Crossrail is due to transform London's transport system when services start next autumn and a critical part of the project is the trains built by Canada's Bombardier. But someone needs to keep those trains running and Britain faces a critical shortage of the engineers and technicians required. So I've come to Bombardier's new depot at Old Oak Common in West London to find out how the company is tackling that very tricky challenge. Oliver Holmes, who is training the staff that will keep the trains running, explains why demand for the right skills is so high and what Bombardier is doing to address the challenge. There's um, a lot of investment going in the rail industry. Everybody's bringing out new fleets of trains, so demand is high. We've been very fortunate in the fact that we get a lot of people from the forces, uh, have left the forces and they come and join us, uh, and they're bringing on some great transferable skills. Um, you know, they're highly trained and those skills slot right into what we require from them. Obviously to a lot of bystanders these trains would look pretty similar to traditional train but they're fairly different inside. What kind of different skills do you need to recruit to maintain a train like this? In these trains, uh, um, you know, the technology is, is, is very advanced on now so we're, you know, we, a lot of the people we have working on them are very good at IT. You know, we have uh, internet networks on the trains and they're very good um, working with software and they're good at sort of uh, analysis and um, interpreting faults and so on and being able to fix that and overcome that. Bernadette Westmoreland tells me about the multiple initiatives the company is taking to find new staff. They include encouraging members of black and minority ethnic or BAME communities to come into an industry where they've historically been underrepresented. It's really important to us as an organisation. There's lots of statistics that show diverse organisations perform better and we are approaching that through a number of different routes. We're engaging with a number of social partners to provide work placement opportunities, CV mentoring, etc. to give people an experience of rail and the different careers within rail. We're using our graduate and apprenticeship programmes to increase the, di the diverse talent pools that we are pulling from. So we're delighted that we have over 20% BAME in our uh, graduate and apprentice pools and around 20% female as well in our graduate pool, which is, has been a real step change for us. Brad Gray, previously an engineer in heavy trucks and now training as a maintenance assistant, illustrates how Bombardier is trying to find people with the right transferable skills to retrain. That's quite a culture shock, yeah, to actually find out how much you can read off of a, off of a train just by a laptop, if you know what I mean, faults-wise. Are you pleased you made the switch? Yeah, 100%, yeah. What's, what's better about it? Well, this is a really exciting project to start with. Obviously, living in the area myself, the whole project itself, when it's running, will make a difference to my life, to my girlfriend's life, people that we know. So that side of things is exciting for me. The fact that when this is successful, it, uh, we will change the whole of the area, really. It's clear that the UK generally, and the rail industry in particular, still face a big skills gap. Companies like Bombardier are reacting by training some people, retraining others, and reaching out to new groups. Nobody's pretending the problem has been solved, but the steps that are being taken are doing a great deal to ensure that these trains should be ready next year to whisk millions of passengers across central London.